everyone welcome to youtube channel learn with gisla in this video of linear equations in one variable we are going to take value based questions so let's start with the first question the first question is if a scooterist drives at a rate of 24 km per hour from his home he reaches his workplace 5 minutes late that means he is late by 5 minutes if he is moving at a speed of 24 km per hour but if he drives at the rate of 30 km per hour now he is moving fast now the speed is 30 km per hour he reaches his workplace 4 minutes early so now he is faster so he will reach before time he is reaching 4 minutes early find the distance of his workplace from his home and is it advisable to drive at a high speed give reason since it's a value based question so there is a value attached to it right so let's start with the solution now let us assume that the actual or we can say the normal time taken by the scooterist is x hours the normal time which he usually takes is x hours now when he is moving at a speed of 24 km per hour he reaches 5 minutes late that means he is taking more time he is taking 5 minutes more than the actual time so time taken will be x hours plus 5 minutes now 5 minutes can be converted into hours by dividing by 60 so x plus 5 by 60 hours further we can simplify 5 and 60 will get cancel i will get 1 by 12 so total time taken to cover the distance from workplace to home at a speed of 24 km per hour is x plus 1 by 12 hours right this is the time which is taken by the scooterist when he is moving at a speed of 24 km per hour now when the speed is 30 km per hour then he reaches 4 minutes early that means he reaches 4 minutes before the time so the time was x hours minus 4 minutes right so time taken by him will be x minus 4 by 60 hours we have converted 4 four minutes into hours by dividing by 60 so x minus 4 by 60 further we can simplify and we shall get x minus 1 by 15 hours so x minus 1 by 15 hours is the time taken by him to reach his office at the speed of 30 km per hour right at 24 km per hour his time was x plus 1 by 12 because he was taking more time when he was um, driving at a speed of 30 km per hour then his time will be less that is x minus 1 by 15 hours right now further we can say the distance of his workplace from his home is speed into time because the distance formula is speed into time now distance with the speed 24 km per hour will be same as distance with speed 30 km per hour because the distance is not going to change distance will remain same the distance from the workplace to the home or home to workplace is same so whether he is moving at a speed of 24 km or he is moving at a speed of 30 km it is equal the distance is equal now speed is different time is different similarly speed is different time is different right over here in case of speed with 24 km we have 24 as the speed and time we have x plus 1 by 12 with the speed 30 km per hour so 30 into time that is x minus 1 by 15 now this is a linear equation which we will solve let us solve the brackets first so we shall take lcm so 12x plus 1 divided by 12 similarly 15x minus 1 upon 15 further 24 and 12 will cancel we will get 2 and over here also 15 and 30 will get cancel we will get 2 so 2 in bracket 12x plus 1 is equal to 2 in bracket 15x minus 1 right now after opening the brackets we shall get 24x plus 2 is equal to 30x minus 2 now take the like terms together 24x will become minus 24x and minus 2 will become plus 2 so we shall get 30x minus 24x is equal to 2 plus 2 30x minus 24x is 6x 2 plus 2 is 4 so x is equal to 
4 by 6 which is equal to 2 by 3 hours. So x that is the normal time which the scooter takes to reach his workplace is 2 by 3 hours. Further we can convert into minutes by multiplying by 60. So 2 by 3 into 60 we shall get 40 minutes. So in terms of minutes he takes normally 40 minutes to reach his workplace. Remember previously we had converted minutes into hours by dividing by 60. Now over here to convert hours into minutes we multiply by 60. Right? Now the distance of his workplace from his home is always speed into time. The formula is speed into time. We can take any speed with any time. So we have taken 24 as the speed and x plus 1 by 12 as the time taken when the speed was 24 kilometers per hour. Now put the value of x in hours that is 2 by 3 hours. So we shall get 24 in bracket 2 by 3 plus 1 by 12. Now further take LCM. 12 is the LCM. 2 will be multiplied to 4 so we shall get 8. 1 will be multiplied to 1 so we shall get 1. 8 plus 1 is 9 so 24 into 9 by 12 is equal to 18 kilometers. So we can say distance of his workplace from his home is 18 kilometers. Now the second part is saying is it advisable to drive at a high speed? No, it is not at all advisable to drive at high speed and please do write the reasons in the comment section. I would like everyone to write the reasons in the comment section. Right? Now let us move to second question. DAV school wants to give 15 prizes to its students on the values of discipline, politeness, and punctuality. So there are three values, discipline, politeness, and punctuality. If the number of prizes for politeness, politeness is the second value. So the second value that is politeness is five sixth of the number of prizes for discipline. So this is the second value. They are saying it is five sixth, five by sixth of the number of the first value that is the discipline. And the number of prizes for punctuality, that is the third value, is 4 fifth, is 4 by fifth, that of the number of the prizes of politeness. Politeness is the second value, right? I again repeat, they are saying they have to give 15 prizes, right? On the basis of discipline, politeness and punctuality. Number of prizes for politeness is 5 sixth of the number of discipline. And number of prizes for punctuality is four fifth or that of the prizes of politeness. Then what we have to find? We have to find the number of prizes for each of these values. Each of these values, discipline, politeness and punctuality. Apart from the above three values, write one more value for which the prize can be given to the students. So you have to write one more value for which we can give prize to the students. Now let's start with the solution. Now since the number of prizes for politeness are dependent on number of prizes for discipline, so let us start our solution by assuming let the number of prizes for discipline be x. So this is x is the number of prizes for discipline which I have taken as a, a is the name I have given to the discipline. Okay. Now let the number of prizes for politeness, the name I have given B, be 5 by 6 of X. X is the number of prizes for discipline, right? Now number of prizes for punctuality, it is saying 4 by 5th of politeness. And number of prizes for politeness are 5 by 6 of X. So over here, 4 by 5 into 5 by 6 of X which is equal to 2x by 3. If you simplify it, you will get 2 by, 2x by 3. Now, total number of prizes is equal to 15. That means prize of discipline, number of prizes for discipline, for politeness, for punctuality, all total is 15. Now, number of prizes for discipline is x. Number of uh, prizes for politeness is 5 by 6x. 2x by 3 is for punctuality is equal to 15. Now, this is the linear equation which we have to solve. Now, further take LCM. 6 and 3, the LCM is 6. Right? Now, x will be multiplied to 6. 5 will be multiplied to 1. 2 will be multiplied to 2. 
so we shall get 4x so 6x plus 5x plus 4x is 15x divide by 6 is equal to 15 now cross multiply x is equal to 15 into 6 divide by 15 15 and 15 get cancelled we are left with 6 so x is equal to 6 and what was x x was the number of prizes for discipline so x is equal to 6 that is 6 is the number of prizes for discipline now number of prizes for politeness is 5 by 6 upon uh, into x so 5 by 6 into 6 6 and 6 cancel 5 are the number of prizes for politeness now number of prizes for uh, punctuality 2x by 3 so 2 into 6 by 3 further cancel we'll get 2 2 into 2 is 4 now if you add them 6 plus 5 plus 4 you will get 15 15 is the total number number of prizes for discipline is 6 number of prizes for politeness is 5 number of prizes for punctuality is 4 and total is 15 right now the B part say, they say one more value you have to write for which price can be given we have already taken three values discipline politeness and punctuality now in the question they are also asking us which other value for which other value you can give the price so I want everyone to write the answer in the comment section right so this is it hope you have enjoyed the video and understood both these questions related to value based please do write the answers of the values related to these questions in the comment section thank you everyone have a great day ahead